हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अर्पिता डायरेक्टर ऑफ लेट द डेटा कॉन्फ्रेंस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एंड आई हैव फाइव इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस अराउंड इन द फील्ड ऑफ डीप लर्निंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क एन एल पी एंड टुडे वी हैव प्रिपेयर्ड अ सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल्स फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क एंड डीप लर्निंग इन मोस्ट लेमेंट टर्म सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ डज अ न्यूरल नेटवर्क वर्क वाई डू वी यूज इट वट इज़ द आर्किटेक्चर बिहाइंड इट एंड ऑल्सो मे बी mathematics behind it like how actually we implement the neural networks so throughout this series it's a 28 days tutorial i'll cover almost all the fundamentals of the neural network along with a few use cases and the code as well and uh, in the middle of the tutorials or the sessions i'll also cover a few interview questions that are very frequently asked uh, in for a deep in learning engineer role and uh, still if you have any doubts uh, during the session you can ask in the comments or uh, maybe you can join our discord community uh, for which link is given in the description so let's start the session today so first of all uh, one more thing i would like to say that uh, i also started my career with the neural network i had no clue about uh, machine learning uh, by 2016 i started everything so i'll suggest you to take it in a as a most fascinating thing because it's not about just a jobs okay it's something that is the most powerful and you will realize why and how and it's damn interesting if you start understanding the architecture or like how oh, it can be used in multiple ways so this is the intention behind making this complete series of tutorial that you can actually build something while understanding this whole concept of the neural networks let's talk about that how does a human brain works okay because if you understand this small part then it will be very easy for you to understand how does a neural network work so i'll, I'll let you know one thing that uh, i think you might be aware of uh, it already that most complex thing in the world right now that people still or i would say scientists still have not comprehended completely that is a human brain because too many neurons inside it and uh, uh, lots of complication we still don't know how does actually work but yeah we have still uh, manipulated little things or uh, we still have understood a very small amount about it and that's what we want to implement because human mind is extremely powerful you want to see how i'll, I'll explain that thing as well so see this image okay if you are a human it's very easy to uh, for you to identify that what image it is right so so if i ask you to identify this image and you are from india or maybe from different countries then it is very easy to identify for you that okay it's a taj mahal right for a human how, how much time you took to understand this point very very small time right because your uh, your brain processed it uh, very quickly because might be you might have heard about it read about it somewhere or maybe you have seen this thing before right so if i ask the same question to computer then how does it work have you thought about it or let's talk about something else also suppose if i give you this number okay if i ask you that can you please do multiply it how much time you take still again a fraction of second you will take so it depends like what we are trying to understand or comprehend as a human brain it is way easier to understand for us that which picture it is rather than how this manipulation or this calculation will work okay why it is so because this is how human brains are trained we are very good at storytelling or remembering things in the story wise rather than doing the calculation but if you think about a computer it is very easy to calculate might be that can be done in microseconds right but for computer to understand that it is a taj mahal or which picture it is it's very very complicated so what can we do actually and also one more thing if you think about it, uh, if this we have achieved right we have the calculators we have the computers to do this thing but suppose if we are able to do this as well if we are able to recognize this image faster then it will be 
very very useful for us it might it can be used in multiple tasks okay you for you nowadays open your mobile with the face recognition or maybe you turning on or off lights with your voice it's very easy it seems right but few years back if you see down the line it was very difficult and people really used to think that is it actually possible so after that only scientists discover that thing that somehow if it's possible to combine these two things together or will it not be very helpful for us to design something or very powerful that's what actually was being done we thought like let's do one thing uh, first check that what are the qualities of a human brain okay and then let's implement those qualities in a computer or in the programming somehow so that we can help uh, or we can take help to predict the future with that okay so let's understand what are the qualities of a human brain that we can utilize at least because we don't understand still the complete brain but we understand lots of things that we can definitely utilize so first of all when we see that uh, whenever we see a image immediately uh, uh, our eye receptors or maybe some other senses to uh, try to identify it through the multiple or billions of neuron right now in human brain it is generally said that approximately 10 billion neurons are present so these are interconnected with each other so we have a very massive parallel neurons network in our brain that helps us to identify okay apart from that we can do the input output mapping like we understand okay this image is went to our mind and then we have to send some output okay this is this image we have to reply something like that and also we can adopt the things according to the different different output suppose if i change this image or maybe if i cut it down in half still you are uh, able to identify it because you can connect the things in between maybe something you have seen 10 years back still you are able to identify sometimes right because that is there in your memory and also it's a evidence responsive we based on what happened recently based on our experiences we take the decision our neurons works accordingly basically after knowing all the qualities of a human brain uh, people started thinking uh, that how can we actually mathematically evolve it in fact i would say uh, i used to think about it a lot like how actually does it work or when i heard about neural network first time i had this thing in my mind neural network is all about neurons that is about the body that is about the human it's all about the biology right but how can we actually mathematically do it i could not understand it so i started reading that's that's the first curiosity i had in my mind that how we actually mathematically use it so when i'm saying mixing together it's like you can think the qualities of a human brain okay and the ability of doing the fast calculations okay uh, by of a, by or of a computer that if we can mix somehow then we can come up with the neural network okay then we can come up with the neural network okay so you can understand that how much quality is or how much powerful it has to be but now question is like how human understand the things for human to understand this small thing we have to actually either see the image or read about it something should be there already in my memory similarly it happens with the computer also what we need we have to provide it the data the more data we will provide the more data we will provide it will be easy for a computer to understand but of course computations will be increased okay but you know pc or computer or any software is right they are uh, very comfortable with this thing uh, that okay they can do the computation fast right so we have to increase our data then computation will increase but but the accuracy or like prediction i would say it will definitely increase okay so let's understand exactly when i'm saying since along that okay these are the similar things like how these are the similar i am pretty sure in your childhood you might have come across this diagram 
this is a basic neuron the fundamental of the neuron diagram it is and uh, you can see here synapses dendrite cell body axon these are the few things that uh, i am pretty sure you might have heard if not i'll i'll let you know these are the basically these is a basic neuron through which we actually understand the things or basically it gives us the senses to uh, feel something or to see something or to hear something right so when you see these uh, this is called a receptive zone okay this is a receptive zone from where i actually feel something suppose if you are touching some hot water so these these things will actually give you the senses okay there is this is a very hot don't touch it don't touch it but this response that don't touch it it will come from this here first this message will go through the axon to the, your brain and then the brain process it and then it will send back to again okay so basically here what i am trying to say is after getting some information there are some neurons that gets activated and actually pass the signal to your brain okay and also suppose you are touching two things like you are trying to touch your table or you are trying to touch a hot pen okay so in both the things only when you touch a hot pen then only your brain gets activated and it says to you that don't touch it it's very hot okay you will get burned so in that case how actually our brain will understand that okay this is something which might be dangerous for us this is something this is not dangerous at all this is a disease this is called decision making okay so scientists thought okay this is how decision making is being done so i have to do two things first i have to take the data as my input okay somehow second thing i have to process the data okay okay and the third thing i have to make a decision about it that what should decision i should take about it and then i have to generate the response these are the four things we had to actually create so basically we tried to make these four steps together in such a way that okay this will be our input neurons i'll have to send something or send some uh, data to it and then these are the weights weights means a kind of adjustable thing which can let me know which sense is actually important or which is helping me to predict after that this transfer function or i would say this is called activation function it's a technical term we will discuss it later but you can understand this is our decision making this will decide that okay this signal has to be passed forward or not or what has to be done okay and after that once it is done we will send the output element which is called our response so you can see here four units this is how our neural network is defined so in the next session we will understand this part that uh, how it is different from ml and um, how actually these terms meaning are and uh, what is the technical definition about it thank you